Hey guys, so today this is a voiceover. Um, this first video I'm doing is a failed Dutch pour air swipe flower bloom, whatever you want to call it. Um, these paints were mixed with water. The ones in the small cups were mixed with water and acrylic paint only. Um, what I'm swiping with the base is titanium white Floetrol and a, a bit of water to thin it. Colors used were the first, um, first one I poured there was Mars Black Phthalo Blue with some silver added to it. And then I have a silver and then I have titanium white with silver to make it like a pearl and gold. And so now I'm pouring over the titanium white uh, Floetrol mix. Popping the air bubbles. And now I'm blowing um, with my mouth, not a straw, as you can see. And this was a fail. <laughs> so I figured you guys might want to see some of my fails, as we all fail on the pores. We don't get them perfect the first time around. We always have bad pores. And trying to see if anything pops up. I have a few cells there, but not happy with it. So I'm seeing, now I'm tilting it down to see if I can make something of it. But I think at this stage in my head, I knew that this was gonna be um, a wipe off. Now the self mix, um, Mars Black, Phthalo Blue, and Silver is my current obsession. It's a very deep, and when it dries, it's, it has a shimmery, glittery effect because of the silver. Okay, so I swiped it off. Now I'm quickly thinking what I can do with these watery acrylic paints colors that I mix because I didn't mix a bunch of it so I'm going to use it and now I'm thinking I'm going to do a dump so we started off with what did I start off with let's see here the titanium white flow trial mix this is very thin very watery paints um, this is my self mix it's a very deep blue and what do we go with silver? And the self mix pearl that I'm going to call it. And finally, go. Oh, nope. More blue. And finally, the gold. And then I believe I put some. Well, let's see. Some more pearl. Okay, now I'm turning the cup so I can pour from the side that I poured the paints in. And a quick dump. Okay, and now I'm going to pop some air bubbles. I always have air bubbles in my paints. I always mix them right before I'm going to pour. Um, I never really pre-plan, so, which I should. But sometimes it's not so bad with the air bubbles when they pop, especially in with these colors. It's very galaxy-ish. It looks, they look like stars. So I'm going pretty slow here. I try and move as slow as possible. I try to be patient. Um, now you should see so the one I did last night at Provo. That was a fail as well. It actually turned out pretty cool. But it was a um, a pour. And as soon as I poured it, I knew I was, I, I was just frustrated with it. So I just kind of threw the paint around and ended, out with, or ended up with something pretty cool. But I'll post that another time. So... 
I remember thinking that there's gold under there. I, I put a good bit of gold in there, so I really wanted that gold to come out. And I had a small vein there in the type right, top right corner of gold. But I knew there was more gold in there, so... So we're hoping, I was hoping to find that gold. And please forgive me on my first voice over. I thought you guys would appreciate this more so than the music. So I'm really liking the, it's very alcohol inky uh, looking, I think. The colors are blending really nice with the white and the blues. Now, yes, I had probably way too much paint. And this was a small, just an 8x8 canvas. So as you can see, I'm going super slow. Just trying to open up those veins a bit. I remember thinking the whole time that gold has to be somewhere. And so, yes, I'm moving very slow. And these paints were very thin. And keep in mind that most of this is just water and acrylic paint. I was not happy with that little sharp corner. So I just pushed it in, try and soften it up a bit. And then we're going to go to the top left corner. Sometimes when I get to the corners, I just quickly tilt it just to get over it. Um, if you haven't, I, I recommend trying out that Mars Black, Phthalo Blue, and Silver. It's metallic. It's very deep and it's very pretty. And when you add white to it, you get different shades. It's very, it's very nice. Current obsession. I'm actually going to be ordering some pigments so I can mix my own paints because I'm starting to get kind of obsessed with paint mixing. And as you can see, when I'm tilting it around, you can see the shimmeriness in the blue. It's very pretty and it dries like super nice. So I'm pulling back, I'm getting those squiggly lines. And at this stage, I'm thinking this is another wipe off. But then I remember my torch. Um, will hopefully bring up that gold. And my crazy torching, but I love it. The torch that I have is a creme brulee torch that I got from, I actually got it from a hardware store. They sell a few kitchen products. Uh, I believe it was, it was only 20 euro, so nothing crazy. And I'm really liking in this all the depth that I'm getting from the cells, the white cells and the gold cells. And then they're sitting on top of that really deep blue. And I'm really liking that. So this is a fun one. When you get up close, I mean, the cells are just little baby cells. I absolutely love the baby cells. I know most people like the big cells. I like, I just like the small little baby cells. And this is no silicone, so I get really excited when I get all these cute little cells. Um, and again, when you're torching, you want to make sure you're in a ventilated room and you should wear a mask um, for safety. See, you can see all the shimmery in the blue. It's gorgeous. 
and the gold. And then you're getting small bits of green in there from the gold and the blue. And all that lacing from those. Oh, I love it. Love it. This would be a good resin piece. So that is that one. And now I think we're going to move on to... Okay, let me quickly... These, this is acrylic paint, one part paint. Um, two parts Floetrol. I use Ultrol's Floetrol. And that is titanium white that I added. And now this is my self-mixed blue. Same as previous video, except for it has Floetrol in it. Now I'm doing a bunch with the with these colors for a wall piece, so bear with me. And then I, I do tend to get obsessed with certain color palettes, and I stick with those for a little bit until I get bored of them. And again, these are all from the these paints are from Sorcerer and Green. Um, I used to, well, I used to use Reeves, but Reeves, I think Reeves are great, but I'm obsessed with these Sorcerer and Green. I don't even, I just love the colors when they dry. They're so vivid and, um, I will be putting an order in for some milk paint on Monday. So I'm going to try Work with some milk paint. So I'm just filling up these small little shot glasses. I should say shot plastics because they're not glass, get it? <laughs> anyway, I was gonna do three and then I thought that was way too much paint. So I topped these off with the titanium white. Or no, that was actually, I'm sorry, that was the pearl that I made. Off to the side, turn the cup to pour from the side that I poured the paints in. And this is a fast little, I guess, mini ring pourish. I don't even know what to call these, I just dump it. And yes, so that's that one. And now I was going to pour the same but then I wanted to I was thinking I should turn the canvas and pour it in the opposite direction that I poured that one in if that makes sense and I remember thinking that oh this is going to be a fun one to stretch out <laughs> Okay, a bit of back and forth there. Popping the air bubbles. Okay, so I'm just tilting it to see, or in the direction that I'm liking the looks of. There's no real right way, you just kind of go with your inst or gut and try and get your composition that you like. I love the gold and the veins on that left one I love. Again, I can't get over that deep blue. Little chunk. Another little chunk <laughs> at the end of my Floetrol bottle, so.
I should have had my tweezers or my toothpicks, but I didn't. Okay. Some more chunks. <laughs> Sometimes those little finger swipes you get um, cool effects anyway, so all is good. Now I'm just trying to close that gap from the finger swipe. Okay, so I think I'm going to start torching in a second. I love the white negative space in between the two puddles that I poured. And these are very spacey, I think. Very spacey pores. Yeah, I'm kind of just going around that white, try and get some cells to pop. And I always go on the the edges of the canvas. Um, I kind of like the little borders that you get. I'm trying to kind of follow the the line the direction of the the veins and the pores or in the the veins and the lines that are in it. I'm just kind of trying to stay in that direction with my torching. Okay, and a close up. Again, the shimmery in that blue. Uh, love it. I'm loving those gold veins. And again, it gives so much stuff. The cells, the white cells on top of the blue. Just looks deep. So pretty. The green. Okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Um, check the description for links. There's loads of links down there. You can follow me on my Facebook arts page. Um, and yes, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye.